Okay, hey, uh, uh, for those who are looking on uh, the video, we're doing our Q&A session after week two uh, of, our, um, of our services here at uh, Cottonwood. Um, to my left is James Coldwell. He's a licensed professional counselor, one of the counselors we work with at the church, uh, incredibly wise, and uh, my precious bride, uh, Gina, to the right. Let's just dive right in. Uh, question number one, question number one is this. Uh, it says, sometimes when I forgive someone, I feel like I'm letting that person off, off the hook. Uh, how can I deal with that? I, and my guess is more than one time you're, you're forgetting, you're forgiving, forgiving, forgiving. You got any thoughts? Right. I, I think that's one of the most common things I see, you know, I'm working with people in counseling is they feel, especially if the hurt's big, they feel like that if I'm, if I'm going to say yes, I'll forgive you, then I'm, I'm saying that what, was ha you know, what happened was okay, you're kind of condoning it, you're pretending it didn't happen, you're ignoring it, uh, but it's not that. You know? It's kind of the beginning of the healing process. You know? it, and it's, it's not an automatic cure. When you say that you're going to forgive somebody, it doesn't mean all of a sudden the hurt's going to go away. And I think that's another kind of myth about it. It's because the other person who wants to be forgiven says, well, you know, why aren't you happy? You know? It's like, hey, let's go watch the Cowboys now. I've said I forgive you, and it's over. Uh, but, it, you know, it doesn't work like that. But I think it it's, it's just gets things started. Yeah. Okay. Got any thoughts? Well, I think that um, part of forgiveness is you, you're right. You, you forgive. You move on. But you also have to be a strong person in that, that you don't just um, just fall over and, let, and be manipulated by someone else as well. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. That's good.